Well, 32 teams tried, but only two teams made it. The Super Bowl. I'm kind of surprised that the Seattle Seahawks were able to beat the San Francisco 49ers because of the inconsistency of Russell Wilson. It was very surprising. And Wilson kind of reminds me of Tebow. Like, he makes big plays when it really matters, but he just isn't consistent through the whole game. But he was pretty consistent in this game. He, he did complete quite a few passes and big ones at that. But the Seattle Seahawks are driven on their defense. They, they, they have a ridiculous defense. They have a very strong defense. This defense reminds me of the 2000 Ravens. Um, they didn't have a good offense. Their offense was lackluster, but their defense was really what drove the team. And their defensive players were the emotional leaders of the team. And that is the case with the Seattle Seahawks. They have a strong running game, a serviceable passing game, but not. it is definitely the weakest part of their team. And then you have the Denver Broncos, which doesn't have a good defense. It's very average at best. It has a very good passing game, probably the best passing game we've ever seen. Uh, the running game is kind of medium. It's okay, it, but their passing game is so deadly that the run, it opens up the running game. So here's the thing. Uh, Denver Broncos are going to have a lot of trouble in this game. Uh, they're going to have to find ways to beat the Seattle Seahawks without their passing game. They cannot rely on their passing game because of this secondary. This secondary for Seattle has too many game player get game changers. You got uh, Thomas in the secondary. You got, of course, you got Richard Sherman, who is completely going to take away Demarius Thomas. Um, now I don't know. I know I know Manning can find his other receivers, and he's going to have to. I don't want him to test. <laughs> he doesn't want to test uh, Richard Sherman too much in this game. Uh, I, I, I know he's confident in his skills, but uh, he's probably going to second guess and remember uh, what he did in the Super Bowl and, against the Saints. But Peyton Manning, he's kind of like the college student who, uh, who studies ten times more than the average college student, and he's always ready for an exam. And you could bet your ass he's going to be ready for this game. Um, that being said, he's going to go over every tape of Richard Sherman, and he's going to find a weakness in that defense somehow, some way. He's going to find a weakness, and um, it's just going to be come down to execution, and nobody executes better than Peyton Manning. And you got your injuries. No, Sean Marino is coming off of a uh, he's day to day right now with a uh, rib injury, I believe. Um, how effective will he be? Do you put the hands? Do you have to rely on some of your rookies? Ball and Hillman, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea against this defense. That could be a problem. Um, you really need your best player, Marino, healthy, and uh, that could be an issue. Um, that could go into your game plan if you're Seattle and, of course, Denver. Um, the weapons that Denver has uh, is extensive. I mean, you have Wes Welker, who hasn't done too much lately, but I think he's going to have to play big in this game because... You're not going to be able to rely on Demarius Thomas and, and Julius Thomas. These two guys are going to be the focal point. They're going to be taken away. Um, Manning loves to throw to these guys, and the Seahawks know that, and they're going to take them away. Expect a game like Vernon Davis had for Julius Thomas. He is not going to get open in this game, I don't believe, not very often, and neither will Demarius Thomas. Uh, so that means Wes Wilker, and, and look for a guy named Caldwell to step up in this game. Uh, I think he's going to be a factor in this game with Wes Wilker. You're going to have to look Decker as another guy. Um, I don't know how many good corners uh, Seattle has. I mean, I'm not very familiar with the Seahawks that much, but I do know this. I know that you, you got you, they're going to take away Demarius Thomas. There's no doubt in my mind. He is the best weapon that the Broncos have, and Richard Sherman will be on him like white on rice. So yes, um, these two guys, these three guys, Decker, Wilker. And I'm thinking Caldwell is going to step up in this game. i got a big feeling that Caldwell is going to make an impact in this game with Welker and Decker. Um, as far as the Seattle offense, uh, I can't say much about the Seattle Seahawks offense. It's, it's mainly driven by Lynch. But there's just something about Russell Wilson. He, he isn't consistent, but by God dang, he gets lucky sometimes. He just He's so elusive in the pocket. He gets out of the pocket. He makes these crazy throws. Um, and that secondary for Denver, uh, mm, I, I'm worried for them. They were able to stop Tom Brady because of their defensive line. Um, they're going to have to get to Russell Wilson, but there wasn't much of a better defensive line than the San Francisco 49ers, and he was able to somehow squeeze out a win here. Um, it's probably going to be easier for him uh, against this defense. Um, the defensive line, though, did step up for Denver. They're going to have to step up big in this game and, and uh, cause uh, the – Seahawks to become one-dimensional. Um, 
they can't win the game with Le- with Le- Lynch's legs alone. Um, they got big plays out of the passing game last night. Uh, lucky ones, I must say, some of them. That fourth down one was, was bossy to go for, and it could have really changed the complexion of the game. So my prediction, and then I'll get to the, the rest of the gameplay. I'll just leave it running. Uh, my prediction for this game, I, I see how, the Seattle Seahawks are the better football team. In my opinion, the Seattle Seahawks are the better football team but I'm not going with them. I'm going with the Denver Broncos because there is just something about Peyton Manning. He he is able to mask so many things, so many deficiencies on a football team. He's able to mask them. Just like, look at what happened when they lost uh, Manning on the Colts. Look how bad that football team became and how better they are now um, with Andrew Luck as a better, he's a good quarterback. It's just, he's kind of got the same traits as Manning a little bit, but he's not like Peyton Manning. I hate it when they give the comparison, oh, Luck is, is, is the next Peyton Manning. There's never going to be another Peyton Manning, guys. There's a one and an only, and he's he's the one and only. And I'm, I'm taking them in this game just because of his knowledge of the game. He's going to be able to find a way to move the ball against his defense enough. And I don't believe that Wilson can get it done this time. But we'll see. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Have a good holiday. Holiday, nice to return. This one is handled by Holiday. In their last possession, they did a great job moving the ball through the air on their way to the end zone. And you'd expect to see the same thing here until the defense proves they can defend against the pass. And they're going with an empty backfield and five receivers. They give it to the halfback. Number 54 comes up to make the play at the 36-yard line. Simple run that picks up good yardage. I mean, you see him setting up to defend the pass. Running the ball is a great way to pick up a good chunk of yardage pretty easily. Out of the gun. Steps up with the throw. Swatted away at the line. Can't complete the short pass attempt, so they'll have a third down now. The Broncos line up in a five-receiver set this time. Gets rid of it. The pass falls incomplete. The defense dug in their cleats and held their ground on that series of down. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 16-yard line. Ball They'll on their own 16. The 16 Denver now crams line. the line of First scrimmage with defenders. Here we go, baby. Tampa. The Broncos come out in a dime package. They give it to the halfback. Bailey is there on the stop Went at the, the 18. The defense held their the positions and didn't let them get very far. One yard gain on that play. Denver Watch shifts their set so they can pack the line. Wilson with split back gets the call. Number 52 Went comes up to make carries. the play. At the 15 yard line, third and long. Denver now shows blitz with all those defenders moving up to the line of scrimmage. Miller, the motion man. The blitz is on. And he's hit as he throws. Broken up. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Ryan will come in now to punt it away. Holiday into return. From the 31 yard line. Holiday with some good yardage on that return back to the 46 yard line. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. A little misdirection. Thomas is there for the tackle at the 45. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Ball on the 45 yard line. Gets rid of it. And he ducks out of bounds. At the 41. The little pass underneath will give them a fresh set of downs. Yeah, what I like about this quarterback is how much he'll hit the receivers in the number. He puts a ball where either his guy will catch it or no one will. Rolling. Number 25 comes up to make the play. At the 29-yard line. Good job picking up the blitz and picking up a first down. Hey, that was a heck of a call. 
I mean, they saw the pressure was coming, and he knew right where to go with the ball. And he got it. Good. On the call, Bryant is there on the stop. Holding. At the 25. On the Hold on, we've got a penalty on the play, and let's check it out. Topic. He's going to be flagged for holding on that play. If the defensive guys get a good jump, sometimes the only thing you can do to protect the quarterback is grab hold of somebody's jersey. Gets the pass off. Number 28 with the stop. Okay. The 18. The They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice looking drive here. Hey, watch the ball. Dropping back to pass on first down. Closing in with the throw. The pass throw is incomplete. So, second down upcoming. Thomas, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. Dropping back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so the, the, the team's asked for sides, and we'll start the quarter. second quarter. So on third down, they'll be looking to get it to the eight-yard line yard or line. further. We're talking about three. Drops back, steps up into the pocket, throwing. Jumps and makes the catch. Touchdown, Denver. Before each play, Peyton Manning gets three plays from the offensive coordinator. He gets two runs, a right and a left and a pass. Then he looks at the defense and he decides which of those three he's going to run. Number five comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Peyton Manning completed pass after pass, accounting for all the yardage on that drive. Yeah, he and his receivers were on the same page, and that got him a score. This one is taken by number 11. Their last drive ended with a three and out as the offense comes out onto the field again. Ball the on their own 20. Start the, the defense changing the things up. Line. First and 10. Nothing. They don't get nothing. So we're going to take it. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Watch each other back. All right, let's go. Oh, no, dude. Everything you've got. A little misdirection. Daly comes up to make the play at the 26. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Swings it out to his running back. Number 52 is there for the tackle at the 28-yard line. Third and short upcoming after the short game. It'll be interesting to see what kind of play they run to convert for this first down. It's a type of situation where you can drop back and throw, or you could just decide to run it right out. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. So the line up the punt after going three and out. They'll spot this one where it went out. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hey, here we go. Marino, the long setback. He takes the delayed handle. Number 56 is there on the stop at the 40-yard line. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Tucks it away. Loose ball. The Seahawks scoop up the fumble. They lose the ball in the backfield, and the defense recovers. When there's that much force coming at you before you even get going, the chances of fumbling go way up. Lynch, the lone back. Miller, in motion. Watch your eyes. Come on. It's showtime, Gives the ball off. Fella comes up to make the play at the 37. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. The Broncos come out in a dime package. Throws it. Jammer is there for the tackle at the 29-yard line. Number 89. Didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for a pick. Going for the first on short yardage. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it. Number 52 is there on the stop, but they allow them to pick up the first. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. Crosses it out to the right. 
Moore is there on the stop at the 13-yard line. Lynch picks up the first down. That's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chains. He'll pass on first down with the throw. And this pass is complete. Bailey comes up to make the play at the nine. Number 11 makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime, looking up for you. I really like the way these guys get after the quarterback. They have a bunch of effort guys out there that have nonstop motor. They push to the inside, they rush to the outside, and they really do a good job of applying pressure, forcing the quarterback to throw it before he wants to. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Breaks the play up in the backfield. It's second and goal at the five yard line. With a counter play. Touchdown. He can still move very well, John, even though he's been around a long time. Yep, he's still got the key decision making ingredient in his makeup. And down near the goal line. That's an important thing to have. Number four will attempt the extra point that would tie this game up. The point after is good. So they're handed great field position and cash in. Yeah, when you give this team field position like that, you can practically take a touchdown to the bank. From the two-yard line. Alde is able to get it to the 21-yard line. Almost at the two-minute mark now. First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. They ain't got nothing. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Rolls out to his left. Under pressure. Sends this pass out of play. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Two-minute warning coming up. Ball on the 21-yard line. No more, fellas. Here they come to play. Number 54 is there Moreno for the tackle at the 18-yard line. Good play by the linebacker to get in there and throw him for a loss. You're going to see him make those kind of plays, and when he does, it really gets the rest of the defense fired up. Manning looking to pass, lines up with five wide receivers. With the throw, Thomas is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. The yards that these receivers make after the catch are a great indication of their physical ability. It shows that they are creative that they can create yards by using their speed and making the defenders miss tackle. Throws it. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. Rowing. No, he can't hold it in. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever play him. He's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Ball on the 33-yard line. Manning looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. With the throw. The wide receiver has it. Number 31 is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line. Going to the air on first down. Uses the puck. Gets rid of it. Breaking free. And he ducks out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3 with the pass. Goes down and gets it right. Comes up to make the play. Good play right there. The defenders forced him to make a move that would get him nowhere. And a pickup of about two. The Broncos line up in a five-receiver set this time. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it. Behind him. He has it. Number 28. Is there for the tackle. Welker adds to his total with that catch and is now over 100 yards. They're 12 yards away from the end zone. The last time they were inside the 20, they got a touchdown out of it. The blitz is on. Rowing. The pass ball is incomplete. He can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. 
and this is the 11th play of this drive. Manning looking to pass, lines up with five wide receivers, throws it, and the catch is made. Browner is there for the tackle. Number 87 makes the catch. No more additional yardage, though, so it'll be third down. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Manning starts out of the shotgun. Big stop, dude, big stop, let's go. Blue there, blue there. On the call. Clemens brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. They're making it look easy out there. The fifth first down on this drive. Yeah, and the key out there has been great play calling and even better execution. They've mixed it up well, and the defense has been on their heels this whole drive. With the counter play. Touchdown, Touchdown. Broncos. Broncos. Number five. Comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. Caldwell was the key man on that drive, getting a lot of big yardage. He's a very tough runner to bring down. And when he gets those legs pumping and gets that kind of blocking, it signals a long drive for the defense. This one is handled by number 11. The Seahawks need to score quickly as they start this drive. At the 20-yard line, ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go! From the start, from the start. They line up in the I formation. Hey, watch the snap now. Hey, hey. it off to the back. <coughs> Number 51 is there right. on the stop the at the 28. Nine you can't have a good running attack board. without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're... We're ready to begin. Number the five is just about ready to kick Denver this one away. Will be kicking off to start the second half. Number 11 back deep to return. This one is taken by number 11. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Denver shifts their set so they can pack the line. Wilson, we split backs. Come on. We're talking about three. And it off. Number 91 comes up to make the play. At the 19 yard line. Defense looking for the run, and the runner just about got back to the line of scrimmage. There was no possibility of going up the middle and picking up anything. Closing in. This pass is incomplete. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Dropping back with the throw. Miller is there on the stop. John, he'll be well short of the first down. Now here's the thing. The defense had all the guys covered who were beyond the market. So it was up to the short man to make something happen after the catch, and he just couldn't do it. From the 36-yard line. Holiday returns this one to the 42. First and 10. They have the lead, and one big reason is because they've done a real good job on the ground on first down. Not bad. And that success leads to bigger and better things, usually. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. The Seahawks with a four man front. Only the counter play. Number 92 comes up to make the play. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Picked up about six yards that time. The pass ball is incomplete, and good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. Cole Quick comes into the game for the punt. Number 11 sets up to run back the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. It's first, first and 10. ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Well, Jack! Keep it up. You gotta believe it. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Hey, Wilson the with a man in motion. Hands it off. Number 33 is there for the tackle at the 33. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. You saw his blockers create some room for him. 
and he accelerated right through the hole. Denver looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. Hit and sack. The big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. Now, he won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Denver comes out in the dive package. Dropping back. Pressure. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. The receiver on the play. What's the hard count? Yeah, let's go, baby. Keep your head up, big boy. They've done very well on third down to this point. Looking to run it here. They'll go with a play fake. Rowing. Miller was his intended target. Miller, the intended receiver on the play. Holiday will go back to accept this punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Ball on their own 30. Defense, get ready. Come on. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. They'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Johnson makes the catch. Browner comes up to make the play. At the 41, he completes another pass and is over 200 yards. The Seahawks with a four-man front. He tucks it away. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. He has a fast first step. He could explode through the hole, but he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. It's a blitz. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third down here, they have to get it to the 31-yard line to convert. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. There it is. Gets rid of it. Number 87 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Remember the fundamental, just like your practice. Cole quit. He's trying to pin them close to their goal line. He signals for a fair catch. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Lucky, lucky. No more, fella. Wilson with a man in motion. Denver shifts their set so they can pack the line. And with a counter play, look at that power. Miller is there for the tackle at the 19-yard line. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Watch the snap down. Clear, clear. Out of the eye formation. They soft, man. He hands it off. Bailey comes up to make the play. At the 25. Lynch with a nice burst through the middle at time. Five yard pickup. It's third down and five to go. Defense get ready. On the call. Setting up play action. Surveying the field. Fires this one deep. It's caught. Number 33 is there Number for the 11. tackle the at the 18-yard line. The Ball on the 18-yard line. Denver now crams the line Ball of scrimmage the with defenders. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. Tosses it left. Irving comes up to make the play at the 9-yard line. Number 22 running hard going right through the arm tackles. Denver now shows blitz with all those defenders moving up to the line of scrimmage. Only one man back. Here we go, baby. They'll bring the blitz. Gets the pass off. Knocked down at the line. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a set. And that time he just missed taking him down. They give it to the halfback. Phillip brings him down, but they get enough to move the chain. This is a good special teams play. Number four. And the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. The veteran kicks it through. His flags down. They might get them for roughing. Running into the kicker. He ran into the kicker. Yeah, that's going to draw the flag every time. Denver now shows blitz with all those defenders moving up to the line of scrimmage. They'll go from the I formation. Miller moves in motion. On the goal. 
Number 52. He's there on the stop on the at the two-yard line. Two, he can't get the court. blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. It's second, second and goal, goal at the, the two. two. Denver there moves close to the line, trying to prevent the touchdown here. Lynch, the deep back. Can he get there? Fakes the handoff. Lobs one into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. The extra point is no good. Ryan is back and ready to put this Seattle one in the air. Up for the kickoff. Holiday back to return. From the five-yard line. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. All on their own 33. Manning with a man in motion. He surveys the field under pressure with the pass. He was tipped. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Moreno was the intended receiver on that play. The Seahawks come out in the quarter defense. Deuce it, deuce it. Hut, hut. Steps up into the pocket, throws it. He hits his receiver. Number 28 comes up to make the play. At the 44-yard line, the Broncos will start this fourth quarter with a slim lead and possession of the ball. Hold the look. The Broncos line up in a five-receiver set this time. Pump faking with the throw. Knocked away. Pass interference. Right. Didn't let him go defense. for the ball. Both the defender and the receiver have a right for the ball. But the defender has to at least pretend he's looking for the pass. They'll get called every time. The defense lines up in the next first down. Hangs in the pocket. On the move. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball on the 35-yard line. Go one, one, one. Keep it up. Only back. one man back Go. with a counterplay. Number 56 comes up Moreno. to make the play the at the 30-yard line. Six. Moreno the hits the handoff on the misdirection play and picks up Third six yards. Five. Third down here Ball as they try to get it inside line. the 25-yard line to convert. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. Looking for room. Nice play fake. With the pass. Number 87 was his intended target. The intended receiver on the play. Number five. Looking to make a good kick here. The kick is good. Holding on the offense. Number 73. Penalties are bad, but there's nothing worse than taking your team out of scoring position. This will be a long one, about a 57-yard attempt here. To the missed field goal, they're set to go on offense at the 47-yard line. First and ten. And let's go one deep. Lynch is the deep back. It's the pass to the left. Number 52 is there on the stop at the 47. Lynch got to the outside quickly and picked up five. Denver now shows blitz with all those defenders moving up to the line of scrimmage. Shakes off the tackle. Miller is there for the tackle at the 42-yard line. He broke the tackle in the backfield and got the first down. Yeah, great play by the defender getting in the backfield. He didn't wrap him up. 
out of the eye formation. With the throw, incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. Number 11 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. 42-yard line. Clear! Clear! Come on! All right, here we go. They line up in the eye formation. Wilson with a man in motion. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. Donnie Abraham hammers it at the 41. And when you get a completion on second down, you really want to get a few more yards out of it. Two-yard game. Third down play upcoming to convert. They have to get it to the 32. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Closing in, gets the pass off. He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. Ryan is ready to pump this one away. Holiday is back to receive this kick. Into the end zone. Touchback. Touchback. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Keep it up. Dropping back to pass on first down with the pass. Number 31 is there on the stop. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns and thread it in there against tight coverage. And he can put some air under it. And he's trying something downfield. The Seahawks line up at a 4-3. Pass play here on first down. Pressure gets rid of it. Almost picked off. Right, had his hands on it. He's a pretty good Anderson, cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets Let's good go. position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. He'll drop a few like that one. Boy, the counter play. Number 31 is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. Marino gets the handoff on the misdirection play and picks up six yards. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Drops back. Steps up with the pass. Browner makes the tackle at the 49. Hand it off to the back. Irvin is there on the stop at the 48. Gain of two on the play. Two-minute warning coming up. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Hand it off. Donnie Abraham was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Cross play to the right. Bryant is there for the tackle at the 38. This is where you got to run a few counters or misdirections to take advantage of this team's aggressive defense. Eighth play of this drive. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Steps up, throwing. Wide open to the running back. Number 25 is there on the stop. At the 27, he continues to move the ball through the air very effectively. And he's now accounted for over 250 yards passing. Ball on the 27-yard line. Watch his play! The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. He gives the ball off. Number 92 is there for the tackle. At the 26, Moreno battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. play of this drive. Ball on the 26-yard line. Great shoot. Hey, let's go. Come on. From the start, from the start. The Seahawks the come out in a 4-3. Tosses it left. <laughs> Irvin comes up to make first the play at the 12-yard line. Again and again, another first down. Yeah, and this offense has really impressed me on this drive. They've been moving the ball very methodically. They're getting closer and closer to the end zone. Play hard and fast, baby. Hey, watch the ball. Let's go now. Keep the throttle. 
all down. All day, baby. Come on. Hot air. They'll take him in. Seattle calls, calls a timeout. Time out. They have none remaining. You should probably yeah, play it down. safe. Just Fire down the ball. It's show time, baby. Set. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Now's not a good time to rub it in. Just down it. the gut and keep that clock moving. Number five. Couldn't make a long field goal in his last try. Let's see how he does here. It's good. The final score is Denver 24. Seattle 20. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening. Thank <laughs> you.